Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about the alias. Alias are the nicknames or the shortcuts for the commands to make them easier. Alias are basically used to avoid typing long commands. So in the Linux, to get a certain output, sometimes we have to type a long command. So with the alias, we can shorten those command, which can save us a lot of time and effort. So let's see the example of alias. In the Linux, to get the current date, we can type date and press the enter. So it will give us the date, but it will also give us the current time. Let's say if you want to see just the date without this time, then to do it, we can use the command date and then we have to use the pipe and then we can use the cut command the cut command will separate the fields or the columns of the output so in the output of this date command we can use this cut command to separate the saturday then april then 11 and so on so cut command will basically separate those fields and to separate those fields we need to give a delimiter to the cut command so we can type dash dash delimiter delimiter is the separator of these fields so if we see here then all these fields are separated with the space so you can see after saturday there is a space and then there is april then again there is a space and then there is 11 so here delimiter is the space so we can give space as the delimiter and then we can choose what fields do we want so to do that we can type dash dash field equals so to get the dates only we just need these three fields so the first field second field and the third field so we can type one comma two comma three and then if you press the enter then as you can see we just got these three fields this time we didn't get the time actually we can also get the last field for the year so the last field is one two three four five sixth field so we can also get sixth field with that and now we only got the dates without the time so as you can see to get the dates only we had to type this long command but with the alias we can shorten this command so let's create a alias to get the shortcut for this long command the file in which we create the alias is called .basrc it's a hidden file and that file already exists in the root directory so right now we are in the root directory of the user john so if we type ls then hyphen a then you can see we have this .basrc now let's go inside that file with vi .basrc let's go to the insert mode and we need to go to the bottom of the file to create the alias so first we type alias then the shortcut command that we want to create so let's give it a name of get date equals then we have to type the command for which we want to create the alias and we need to put that command in the single quote so here we want to create the alias to get the date only from the date command so the command is date then pipe cut then we have to give the delimiter that is space and then we need fields the first one second third and the sixth one and now let's save it using colon wq and now to save that alias we need to type source and then the file name so the file is inside the home directory the file name is dot bass rc and now you can press the enter okay so now we just created a alias named get date so if we type date 
then it will give us the date and the time but now since we have created a alias named get date we can just get the date out of that date command and as you can see we just got the dates so before creating the alias we had to type this long command but now with just one word get date we got our desired output and we can also use the alias to replace the existing command so let's see the example first let's create a directory named test let's go inside the test and now let's create a file named file1 and let's also create another directory named dir1 sorry mkdir so inside this test directory we have a file named file1 and we have a directory named dir1 to remove this file we can use the command rm then file1 and now it removes the file but to remove this directory we have to type rm and then we also have to give the attribute minus r and then the name of directory but if we just type rm and the dir1 then it will not remove that directory but with the alias you can also make this rm command to delete the directory as well so we can replace the rm minus r with just rm so to do that we have to edit the bas rc file again so let's go to that file and now let's add one more alias so we want rm to execute rm minus r let's save it and we need to type source dot bas rc okay so before creating the rm alias when you try to delete this directory one using rm dir1 we couldn't remove the directory but now since we have replaced the rm minus r with rm we can just type rm and then dir1 and now if we check the list then you can see the dir1 has been removed so with the alias you can come up with your own command you can replace any command with your own alias the only drawback of alias is it only works with a single command so if we go to this bas rc file then this get date alias will only work for this single command and this rm alias would only work for this single command so we cannot use the same alias with the multiple command but in the linux we can also execute multiple commands at once with a single command and to do that we need to use something called bash scripts which is the topic for our next video the bash script allows us to execute multiple line of commands in just one step but in this alias we can only execute single command at once so in the next video we will learn how to execute multiple commands at once using the bash scripts and also here in this gate date alias we have used this pipe and if you are not familiar with pipe then i have a video on pipes and redirections on linux i'll put the link of that video in the description make sure to check that out too because in the linux we deal with pipes and redirections frequently so i think that will do it for this video i'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning goodbye